One ballot measure we have our eye on tonight, Proposition 9, that's down in Utah County. Voters there deciding if they want a new form of county government. ABC4's Sarah Martin reports. Right now, Utah County has a three-man county commission. Voters will decide if they want to replace that commission with a five-member county council and a county mayor. Utah County Commission Chair Tanner Ainge is for the proposition. It's time to put an end to some of the dysfunction that has plagued Utah County government. His fellow commission member Bill Lee is not. It just will lead in the end to, uh, to more government, which will equal higher taxes. The argument for Prop 9 says separating the legislative and executive branches of the county government would make the county work better. A part-time council that has five members in geographic districts and one full-time mayor separating that legislative and executive branch like every other form of government that we have. Voters currently vote on all three commissioners. Moving forward, they would vote by council district and on the mayor. Those against the idea think the mayor would have too much power. It makes that mayor look like a super council member and the executive. And, and for me, I don't want to look like Salt Lake County. This is supported by 20 of the 22 mayors in Utah County. The majority of our state legislators are chambers of commerce. If passed, Utah County would elect a mayor in 2022. Find more on the arguments for and against Proposition 9 on our website, abc4.com. I'm Sarah Martin, ABC4 News.